Thank you, Julie, for being here. Uh, Julie Tariel is an immigration agent for Australia. Can we have a global overview of overall visa system in Australia? Yes, sure. Um, so visa, visa in Australia is quite a complex system. You have a bit like four, 400 um, different uh, options. And in those options, sometimes you have different streams, well, sub option on the option, so which is like a bit of 600 opportunities so yeah depends on what you want to come and depends on how long you want to come to australia you have you know different options and fortunately since last year with some uh, reform big big reform on the immigration system in australia it's a bit harder for some people uh, but then if you really want to you can always explore all your options and maybe one is for you we heard about the abolition of the 457 what happened and what will change for people? Okay, so um, for people who are looking for visa, there is few changes, but as well as for employers, their sponsor. Um, so yeah, the 457 disappeared. Now it's called, they don't want to give another number name, even if the, the new visa has a number, it's the 482. Um, however, immigration, the immigration department want just to mention it as TSS for temporary um, short skill shortage visa. And um, so typically now in this visa, you have two options. So one called the short term option and one called the medium term option. So basically now with the short list and the new TSS visa, you are able to have two, two years visa that you can renew once. And then unfortunately you have to find another option to stay or uh, through a family visa or a partner visa uh, or you would have to leave Australia. You won't be able to get permanent residency. While before with the 457, everyone who had a sponsor after two years with their employers could get permanent residency. So with the abolition of 457, this option is now finished for a lot of, of occupations. But if your occupation is on the medium long term list, then you can have a four years visa and after three years and up two with the same employer on the same occupation then you can ask for pr if after three years your occupation is still on this medium list um, so the other big changes for employees um, so people who apply for uh, this new tss visa is they would need to demonstrate that they have two years experience in the nominated position um, but these two years have to be post qualification that does not include any internship. What I recommend, especially for young graduates, is if they, they will need really to try to have some experience before they come to Australia if they want to stay long term. Because if they don't have those two years experience, they won't be able to get a visa. And the other thing is for the people who are on this short list um, occupation, uh, the occup short occupation list, they will need to prove that they are genuine temporary entrant, that they don't want to stay longer than those four years at the time of application. Of course, during the four years, things can change. If you know if they met someone here or their position go back to the medium list and they want to change their visa, a lot of things can change. But they would have to say that when they apply, they, in, they intend not to stay permanently. And where there is another problem, it could be for people who, are, who have been here on student visa for a long period. Then immigration says that they may consider they've been here for too long already and they are not genuine temporary entrant and they would refuse the visa. So you have to be careful of how long have you been in Australia before when you apply and um, yeah, just to say that you don't want to stay permanently, but that is only for people who are on this uh, short, short list, not the medium list. And what have changed for the employers? Yes, so for employers, it's a bit simple to be accredited to sponsor, which is the first step, because uh, if they want to sponsor employees, they need first to be accredited. Before, then you need to demonstrate that they financially were safe and could employ more people. And as well as uh, they had to demonstrate that 1% of their payroll, so entire payroll, uh, has to be spent with Australian employees only. And this 1% was to be spent in training 
expenses for an Australian employee only. That is done, that is also um, finished. Uh, and what they have, they have created, so this one is not voted yet, so it's still uh, pending, but we should have an answer within the couple of weeks. Um, there's, there's changed that to something called the Skilled Australian Fund. So, uh, but that would not need to be paid at time of the company to be accredited, but that would need to be paid at a second stage, which is called the nomination. Which is, yeah, so because, um, <laughs> To apply for a TSS visa, so first the company needs to be accredited, and second stage is for them to nominate a person. The nomination is like, okay, we need, um, I don't know, we need a marketing manager, for example, and we can't find someone locally. So we're going to advertise in Australia to try to find an Australian employee. If we can't find an Australian employee, yes, okay, so we find an overseas employee, we want to sponsor him. So that's, that's the nomination. And so for the nomination now, they will need to pay this um, lump sum, uh, which is tax de deductible, uh, to the Skills Australian Fund. So it will be paid to immigration, basically, and immigration every month or quarter, they will give back this money to the Department of Immigration, uh, of Education, sorry. They also, the immigration is also more, um, what are they looking at is for this recruitment campaign. They ask for much more detail than before. Yeah. Uh, before the company had uh, a year to prove that they did a recruitment campaign for this position. From June, it will be six months only. And the, posi the, the advertisement itself would need to be really detailed with the job description, the title and the salary, which has, at the moment was not, um, mandatory yeah. and now it is okay so thank you a lot and uh, looking forward to hearing from no you no problem thank you new updates